Hello, welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda, I love saying things. And happy Halloween! It is October. I have some bats in my belfry. I think I'm in love with this headband. I might just wear it all year round because I am a spooky bitch. I love Halloween, I love you. I hope you're having a great day or day of your choice. Today, I'm finally going to do a look with the electric palette from Marc Jacobs. I did get this from Boxy Charms add-ons. My first one came shattered, if you remember, if you saw that video, and if you didn't remember, it was shattered. And I was able to get a replacement, and it is beautimous. And I'm very excited to swatch this and do a look for you today. Anyway, I hope hope your Halloween plans are shaping up. I know there's not going to, I mean, I know people are probably going to have some parties with too many people. And, you know, I don't know if kids are going trick-or-treating or not. They never come to my building because it's an apartment building. But, um... But I hope that you celebrate because it's great to be spooky all year round. But this month is the pinnacle of the spooky ookiness. And I'm swatching this palette now. And the first color is super light, which matches my skin tone. And then there we go there. And we've got three more colors to swatch. Three more covers to swatch for you. Boo -doo -boo -boo. This one piece of hair just keeps making me crazy. So if I mess with it, you know why. Ooh. That silver is amazing. Oh, that's really beautiful. It is a gorgeous little palette. And I am loving Marc Jacobs formula. This is my uh, fourth Marc Jacobs palette that I've used and I just can't say enough about how much I really dig it. I'm going to start in my crease with this taupe color. Well, there's some kick up in there. Look at that kick up. And we'll put that in my crease. Oh, it's dark. Maybe that's all I'll put in there. I'm gonna clean off that brush with my color sp switch sponge that I make out of my Boxy Charm and Boxy Lux uh, foam liners. I just cut little circles out and put them in my tin. Just trying to blend out what is there. Maybe I have to do a little bit more over here because I just want to go in light with this because there's so much light coming in from this window next to me that it makes it hard to see if I'm even or not. That's pretty good. Swash, swatch, swash, swatch away the taupe color <laughs> anyway um we've got our halloween stuff up for the most part we still have a few things to put out but we have halloween stuff up all year round i had a, my wedding was seen day of the dead so we were into the skulls and such from an early early time I'm going to go into this shimmer color here. That was the color that broke from the first version of this palette. And I'm just gonna put it right there. I'm probably gonna use a lot of the colors in this palette. I seem to use a lot of the colors in all of these palettes. There's not that many, there's only seven to begin with. But like, it's just super pretty. 
It's so sunny. It's in the 60s today in the KY. The state, not the jelly. I haven't said that in a minute. Now I'm going to go into this color here, this other shimmer that's a little darker. Ah, oh, it's not doing what I want. Still going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to go into this brown color to deepen the outside corner. I'm going to use a little fluffy brush for that. That's pretty good. So bright and sunny. I'm not used to it being so sunny when I record. It's been so gray for such a long time that the sun seems so strange. And Wolfie's in the corner sleeping like a cute little fluffy gray cat. I'm going to take this shader brush and I'm gonna go into this center color and put it on my eyelid. And blend it up a little into the crease. This is not making the look I expected. It's pretty. It's super cute. But it's a lot lighter than I expected. Let's get another fluffy brush and go under the brow with this light color. I forgot to do that. Super a lot of kick up in the pan with that. And some fallout. For sure. It's like little snowflakes falling in front of my eyes. This is just a sweet little look. But I expected the middle color here to be a lot more pigmented. I did. Now I'm going to pop some of the silver with my finger into the center of my look. And that is crazy pigmented. This is definitely not the look I expected to make, but it's super cute. This little palette is a dynamo. Now I'm going to put it with the others and let's do some liner with a Stila, Stila, Stila. That's like the Kentucky coming out. I forgot to do my brows. I'm doing a kind of thick line. That looks much better. I'm just in love with eyeliner, if you haven't noticed. And I'm going to use the huge huge mascara from Stila. I got them as a set in my boxy, no, in my bag fit fun, and I'm just over the hill happy with it because it's such a great eyeliner and such a great mascara. It really makes a big difference on the lashes. I almost didn't choose it, but I'm so glad that I did. So it really helps even my left eyelashes, which are crazy short. Super cute look. Let's think about the lips, shall we? Oh, the brows. Yeah, the brows. I've been trying to do those ahead of time. 
so I don't waste time drawing brows on for you. And this is Fluff and Fill by NYX in chocolate. When my hair went lighter, my brows had to go darker. Otherwise, they wouldn't look like anything. There we go. Some brows. They are sisters. They're more cousins than sisters, for real. And I'm going to take... No, Calabasas from Jeffree Star for my lippy. This and Gemini are my top two Jeffree Star lippies. They go with almost anything. Did that look super cute? I want to thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great day or a day of your choice. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you real soon.